Hello, Matt Rolls is for here, and well, before we go any further, we have a little bonus episode here. Uh, I actually forgot to talk about spells. I really should have, but I'll do that right now. Healing. Heal heals 30 HP to all enemy, all characters. Cascade. You see me do it. Use it. it increases attack power for our allies for by 16. Pretty impressive. Good luck. He, good luck causes all monsters to attack e to attack each other for one battle round. And purification cures poisoning. Temptation puts all enemies to sleep. Supersonic is actually an attack spell and causes 20 HP to damage on all enemies. But Tranquility Restores 75 HP to all characters. And another spell she'll get at level 10 that I didn't get. Because by the time we get that, it's kind of pointless. She's one level away. You get Destruction, which causes 70 HP of damage to all enemies. Definitely one of the most powerful attack spells. For quite some time, actually. Unfortunately, sadly, it's kind of useless as you get, as by the time you get it, you're practically near the end of, of all of what we're doing on this continent. So, by the time you get it, it's about time for Loons to leave the party, disappointingly. Yeah, kind of annoying. Right now, Nash has three spells. Thunder attack causes 60 HP of damage. Not as strong as destruction, but pretty strong. And it targets one enemy. I say go as far, go, go as, far as to say that destruction is a much better spell. Thunder Wave causes 50, 40 HP of damage to all enemies. And Thunder Thunder, which Nash gets at level 12, freezes all monsters for one round. And there we go. I Sorry about that. I should have explained about magic. But I actually never did. For some crazy reason. I didn't. So, my apologies for that. And now for our pe feature presentation. Hello, Meryl64 here, and welcome to Le back to Let's Play Lunar. The Silver Star. And now, oh, that's Spike. And now, Nash is going to leave our party. He's going to be in Black Rose Street. It's only going to be temporary. But it does cause him to lose quite a bit of levels. Sorry, up and sell that diamond. And he's going to disappear for the next dungeon as well. So, like I said, he's going to, mean to lose a lot of levels. Miss out on a lot of levels. Because to beat the next dungeon, we have to at least grind to around level 20. Yeah. Luckily, you level, level up pretty fast in Lunar. Well, in this game at least. And... The enemies in said dungeon do go off, give off quite a bit... Quite a bit of experience. Some very good experience. But we'll get into that when we get to that. I assure you, it's not a fun dungeon. Welcome to my shop. I'm... No, good to meet you. I'm Dross. How may I help you? You can buy a gold ring or jewel from him. <coughs> Excuse me. However, both items are useless. If you find one of them, sell it. That's all they're good for, really. But we have to sell the dark dragon diamond. This is the only shop you can sell it, sell it to. I paid 4,000 silver. That doesn't sound... Yeah, you have to say yes to this. 
gave Josh the diamond. Sorry, I'm going to turn this fan on because I'm getting a bit hot. Hmm? He hasn't come back yet. Is he alright? Oh. That's not good. Very not good. The diamond was stolen? Well, Dross ran here by here chuckling. He's got a hiding place deep in these sewers. So keep searching. Great, so he's nicked our diamond and he's in the sewers. However, we can't access this yet. Well, we can, but the enemies are going to be a bit strong for this for us, as this guy is going to explain right now. That this place is overrun with monsters that all their weapons can't touch. Just wish Nash was still with us. That will make this a lot easier. Guess we can go get him if we need, really need to. So you don't have to talk to that guy to... Get activate the next chain of events but that's how you're supposed to know to go to Black Rose Street in fact this is something I dislike about this game actually is that the some one or two dungeons have gimmicky monsters which have either insanely high HP or insanely high magic defense not HP defense I actually find that a bit annoying. It's going to mean the next dungeon is actually almost the same as this, except a lot longer. And like I said, you need to be level 21 if you want to take on the boss. You have to look for the place where Nash is. You can talk to people here, but most people are egotistical and won't speak to some and refuse to speak to. Someone is pretty much a muggle. Don't exactly call you muggles, but Harry Potter references are cool. So he's not gonna go with us, but we can draw our magic power. Don't go too crazy with this the fire of magic, Alex. Some that's getting really carried away. And you couldn't find any Ramus. Which makes sense because Ramus has zero HP. And now we can act people now we're not egotistical to us and will actually speak to us now that we have magic we have flame flame is a fireball attack uh, I can't remember how much it causes around at least up to 40 I think or I could be wrong there and it costs 2 MP very handy indeed actually come to think of it I don't think I ever explained how much MP costs those bells did in the fir first part of the episode. Oh well. I kind of forgot about the little, little detail. But now, we can talk to this guy. We could have talked, spoke to him before, but he won't, wouldn't sell us anything. <clears throat> I want to buy a few, at least one, two. That should be enough. Bit overkill that is, but in this game, you have practically no way to heal your MP. That is annoying. Very annoying indeed. I'm going to give some to Ramus too. And those herbs. Because in our little journey through the sewers, Ramus is going to be absolutely useless. Totally useless. He's practically a pack horse. Except he has to run for cover. There are some weapons that we can buy. Although I must admit, I am not desperate for them. Yeah. There are weapons armor, but I'm not desperate for them. In fact, in the early game, I'm not really desperate for weapons and armor. Baron later is when I tend to grind some money to get some. Thus, the game actually gets harder. That said, I do find this game rather easy, for the most part. There are one or two sections which I find incredibly annoying. But anyway, we have new enemies here. They, that big thing is a grog snake. Uh, Silver Star Harmony 
translation XE do translate the game called these things paunchy snakes. And that thing this thing here Oh crap, I forgot its name now. I knew what its name was. Deadly Flipper? Something like that. This thing you want to kill now. Because out of all the enemies, it attacks first and it hits the most. That, from the most damage. Rock Snakes, you have nothing to worry about. Just burn them. Actually, I'll go for this guy. He seems to look a little closer. That said, Alex is going to be our main damage dealer for this entire fight. No, not exactly fight, but this entire dungeon. So, like I said, this is going to be annoying. So, that's why I brought the still silver lights, just in case anything bad happens. By bad, I mean Alex runs out of MP. Because he's going to be using it a lot. And I mean a lot. These things, what are they called? Gurgler. Gurglers, you have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about them. They can't poison you. They attack first, but they can't poison you. But, I don't think... No, I think Grog Snakes are probably the easier enemy. I hope... I hope that one of the two... There we go. One of them actually wasted their time. Keep poisoning Alex. I'll probably have to heal him after this. I might use one of Ramus's herbs. To save up on a little bit of MP. Even though I'm probably not going to keep that going for long. Yeah, I think I should have brought some more. I must admit. That probably would have been a very wise decision. You can get Ramus to run if you want, but something I must warn you about. When the character individually run in when you get an individual character to run, they will not get gain any experience from that fight. I think if they're dead by the end of the fight, they still do. I think. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I last had a party member die on me. When a party member dies, they're just taking out a battle. You cannot revive them. That's something I may as well warn about. There's a guy over there, but we can't get over there yet. He's nothing in it. He's not anything special. Well, for right now. But we'll be getting there sometime. By sometime, I mean later in the game. Herb, that's handy. Very handy. Starlet received. Usually around this time I learn Little Litany, which is a healing spell. But I don't. For some crazy reason. I'm not sure if I do, should do some battles to learn it first. In terms of experience, we're not very far till level 12. I'm not sure if you learn it at level 12 or level uh, 13. Just that it's going to be extremely handy for this fight, as while the herbs are handy, are helpful, I'm not going to deny, they're going to save us one MP. For healing. You don't heal much. Hmm. I think I'll pause the video right here and do that off screen. Finally have it. Finally. Also, something I also never mentioned because I kind of forgot about it and I didn't... Um, well, mostly because I didn't remember that it happens. But sometimes when Alex reaches low HP, he actually gains some HP back. 
I don't know why that is, actually, despite playing this game quite a few times. I don't really know why that happens. I honestly don't. I might have to check the manual and see. And why the hell am I getting you to attack? Probably because I was hoping to get you in between those and take off some of the pressure off Alex. So yeah, power litany heals, actually I can't remember, I think 50 or something, but I'm not sure. Uh, it might be a wise decision to take, yeah actually, maybe that's not so such a good idea at the same time, because if Rims dies, and it'll be highly likely if he did. If I'm not careful, I'll be starved of silver lights. But at the same time, it's nice to, for Rims to have them, so Alex can keep attacking. Hmm. That's something to think about. But anyway, because I can't be asked. Going over here. I'm not sure if I got every treasure treasure in this room. Place and to be fair, in terms of treasure, I'm not really bothered about finding every single treasure chest in the game. I must admit I am not bothered about it. There are quite a few one or two, quite a few chests I would like. Ooh. Alex, get ready, here comes the water dragon. When you go past that spot, boss battle time. Our tactic. Ramus can run like hell, or run like a pansy. And Alex can keep attacking. The water dragon just attacks by moving fire. Ow, that one was actually strong. I think I might have to heal him after the next one. And this is something I also dislike about this game. Also dislike about this game. The boss battle me the battle musics. I'm not gonna deny they are such good songs. But they are just so short and they loop very quickly. It's really disappointing. Oh and something funny about this thing is that in Lunar Silver Stars Harmony, it actually wears a bow. The water dragon. Because it's actually well no, in both for in all versions it's Joss's pet. But it has a bow on. Pretty amusing. Also in that version, you actually have Luna with you. She actually stays in the party for a fairly long time, actually. Up until a certain point. So yeah, the Water Dragon is actually aiming for Rainus quite a few times. You'll want to heal Ramus when he gets low. It's probably a wise idea if you have Ramus sold onto herbs, or at least. I'm not sure if this is actually. This boss's attack actually. Actually, a physical attack or a magic attack. I reckon it's a magic attack. But I'm not sure. <clears throat> so it might be a wise idea to take Ramus's weapon off him before going anywhere near here. Heal Alex when he gets near 50 HP. When Ramus' HP gets found under 30 at least, or 30 and under, heal him. At least at level 12, Alex should be fast in the Water Dragon. If you want an easy time like I have, Make sure you come with Power Litany. It'll really help a lot. Ow. Uh, get you to heal yourself. You can actually use one of those silver lights you have. Oh, 
Well, in Lunar Superstar Story Complete and pretty much the other versions of Lunar, uh, I think Ramus and Luna can attack this guy because the sewers don't have enemies that are resistant to weapons in the remakes. Which I'm so glad for. Being in their version of the trial cave to give the trial is a bitch. Starlight. And over here is a starlight. Uh how how do you guys find me in here? Uh, I'll pay you one thousand silver for the diamond now. We agreed on more. Is is that so? Um here let's see, um uh about 2,000 silver, that's fair. Try again, Buster. I, I'm sorry, I just don't have 4,000 silver. Here, here's 3,000, take it all, okay? You're not off the hook. Pow, fine. Blah. <laughs> Crack. <coughs> ouch, hey, ouch, L. Hey, that's really all I have. Please forgive me. I'll never forgive you. Pow, 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 pow. I'm sorry, that's just too much fun. <clears throat> of course, it's a but, but found must. That's why I kept saying no because you can actually get more from that. I brought a terrible new leaf. Nothing but honest, honest business from me from now on. Will we see him again? Maybe. Out of this, you get about half of what Golf draws. Yeah, half the money actually goes to Alex and into the party's money. Half of it actually goes to Ramus himself. That's why if you went for like a thousand, you get 500. If you went for. Uh, 2,000 you'd get a thousand each <clears throat> so yeah but anyway we have to make our way out of this I'll meet you at the end and here we are at the end oh for Christ's sake ah <sighs> anyway I don't think we encounter any monsters here so something when you do what to do Take off Ramus's equipment. Because as you probably could imagine, he's leaving the party. Will we miss him? No. Back time you finally made it. Ice, you know you're quite handed. You just done your magic. So yeah. We'll go. Magic is way beyond my grasp, no wonder. Bye. Bye. You kinda sucked. Bye. Away with you! Now that he's gone. Nash just rejoined. We have someone more useful than him. And I must admit, I'm a I think I'm actually <laughs> underleveled. Wow. Uh. Uh, let's see if anything I want. I don't think any of this stuff is actually useful. Except the gloves. So, let's take a look at the weapon shop and the armor shop before we go any further. With that said, like I said, I'm not really itching for any weapons. <clears throat> anyway, that's all right now. Ooh, saber. Although I think there's a much better weapon that waiting for us in vain. I would like to get that for. Oh, you can equip short swords. Cool. I would like to give get him that, as that's going to be extremely useful. Uh, let's see, 26 attack power. Oh, didn't want to put that on him. 
35. Nice. I want to stop the video here, but I would like to go a little further. Never close. We're actually going to find, I think, a better piece of armor a bit later. I've got it may as well by one of those four. May as well buy one of those four right Nash, of course, about calling Ramus. Why would I want to? Ah, actually. I think I might buy the helmet for Alex. Because he actually doesn't have an helmet. So yeah, I could buy actually, it might not be a bad idea if I get a certain mage there. Carapace armor. The only thing is, it's a bit expensive. Because I. There's going to be. Uh, no. We don't have enough. Oh well. Oh! Actually, before we go and leave, Vane. No, not Vane. Moribia. There's certain someone we can meet. I actually completely forgot about this because it's actually not quite required. Smoke fish. I can't remember that, what that does. I think that actually heals hope for MP, I think. Let's test. 18. Yeah. That didn't heal. Maybe it's HP. I know it's a healing item, just not a very good one. And the rations, those actually heal a little bit to the entire party. Very handy indeed. Yeah, we don't have to do this, but I would like to. As he is fairly an important character. Meldia Kirk, ruler of Moravia. This guy is Hell Mel, one of the four heroes. We're actually going to meet two of them. Yeah, we're actually going to meet two of them in. Oh. I went in and just demolished his store. You have both seen me back in these parts. Wow. That's a bit over the top. Yeah, he... <clears throat> I feel like I'm repeating myself now. He is Hal Mel, One of the four legendary heroes. The same people... The same person who travelled with Dying. Not sure if... I think someone in... Va no. I keep calling it Vane. keep calling it everything Vane. Uh... Berg actually spe speaks about him or the four heroes. They travelled with Dragon Master Dine, and we're actually going to meet two of them in. Actually, let's go see his handiwork. Uh, nothing's different. You liar! To get to City of Aim, we must use the Fountain Transfer. Pass out. That's all there. That's a bit of a mountain range. Right, we got it. So, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure if it's right or. Yeah, I think it's this way. You have to do a lot of going down. Around here. We have new enemies. Ambush. <laughs> and Gigaflies. Yeah, lovely pun working designs. Lovely pun there. Too fair, Alex could do a new weapon, but like I said. Next dungeon has same gimmick as the sewer 
the enemies are resistant, resistant to physical attacks. So yeah, I'm not desperate for a new weapon. And to be fair, Nash could do the new, some better armor too. He could really do with it. The only thing is, I'm not really desperate for it. But that's it, there's new armor for Alex available in the next dungeon. We have a new enemy, Wyvern! I think it's something to say then. Now split. Yeah. Sorry, I skipped through that text a bit quick. Yeah. That was actually purely accidental. Oh, we could have brought that new armor. Oh well. What he's talking about is that we have to go through the Cave of Trial to enter Vein. You can talk to this man for full healing. If you want. <clears throat> and there's a lot of new enemies. Like these these tapple things are probably going to be our most dangerous enemy so far. They hit a lot. Hmm. But we're gonna get a really good spell later. In later levels that will help out a lot. And we learned Little Litany, which is pretty much a better version of Power Litany. I want to get that calm mode first, before, because I reckon in off screen grinding, I'm probably going to need to accidentally find it. Although, I don't know why it's called Little Litany, as it makes it sound like it's weaker than Power Litany. That's also a complaint out of mine. That's a complaint I have about this game, actually. Some of the spell names are very unfitting. Ow. Ow. Got comboed. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to be grinding here for quite a bit. So, in the next episode, you'll see that I've actually reached at least level 20. Or 21, whichever comes first. So then, next time we're actually going to, after a bit of grinding, we're going to explore more of this area. See you next time.